Vic. With 77 candidates in this weekend's WA Senate election, we're bringing you this countdown to making your vote count, provided your vote isn't lost again. Seven craziest candidates in this week's WA Senate race. Uh, seven. Number seven, the hashtag Sustainable Population Party. The first political party to include a hashtag, giving them all the dignity of a Robin Thicke song. Six. Number six, the Smokers' Rights Party. And go, removing plain packaging laws, removing taxes on cigarettes, allowing smoking on private property and allowing retailers to stock cigarettes. That's it, stop, I am done. Who wants to hang out for 10 seconds? Anyone? Five. Number five, the Republican Party of Australia. This party includes an immigration policy that makes Australia seem like an exclusive nightclub. One in, one out. So if you spend a year abroad and someone takes your place, tough luck, Australia's full. Four. Number four, the Australian Sports Party. It loves sports. You love sports. Australians love sports. But if you really love sports, you'd let sports run your government. Three. Three. Number three, the Freedom and Prosperity Party. Their biggest claim to fame is that their president held David Suzuki's feet to the fire over global temperatures on Q&A, but not as a panelist. Go ahead, Bill. Oh, hi. <laughs> Number two, the Australian Motoring Enthusiasts Party. Their logo features a Southern Cross racing towards the right, an image that reflects their surprisingly conservative policies. But forget that, how good are cars? And number one. one. Rise Up Australia Party. The Rise Up Australia Party claims to love the Muslim people but oppose the Quran and Islamic ideology, which would suggest the one thing about Muslim people they don't love is the Muslim part. But Rise Up aren't all doom and gloom. I mean, they've got this cool theme song. Rise Up Australia. So there you go, Western Australia. Head to the polling booth this weekend and try not to screw it up this time. Look how big this thing is. All across this land.